Today we're sailing seven nautical miles to the Sand Key Lighthouse. This is one of Key West's oldest historic landmarks. The original, inappropriately named lighthouse was built on a sandy shoal. It was destroyed by a hurricane in the 1840s. Today, there's no longer a sandy shoal, but a beautiful reef that we can't wait to dive. Excited to take you along for the ride. Show you what all there is to see. It's hard to truly capture how beautiful it is down here as we're really new at underwater videography. As we perfect our free diving skills, we're so eager to share the underwater world with you. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe. You won't regret it. quick dive, we got back on the boat to sail another 15 miles west to Boca Grande Key. That's where we'll stay for the night. Right there, yep. Now step on it, and as you step on it, you're just you're pulling a little bit, but keep those fingers out of the way. Yep, fingers together, out of the way. There you go, and just it is. But you got another probably foot to go. All right. Actually, it's good. It's good. Stop. We're full. What's going on, ladies? That's our new home. What's our new home? Boca Grand Key. We are just west of Key West, Boca Grand Key, and we're going to do some exploring this afternoon and tomorrow morning before heading back to Key West. So we're walking this beach and we turn the corner and we see this, uh, well, we see all these clothes and all these bottles and then we get a little bit further and we see this. It's a Cuban raft. Obviously, uh, Cuba is only about 90 miles from here. And these people uh, apparently made it across 
let's turn the camera around here and show you what what we found. So we're guessing the OK paint is probably from the US Coast Guard, maybe saying that they've already checked this. But this is an Isuzu diesel motor inside of literally a metal boat that has been through bolted and all of the joints just looks like like a Sika caulk or something just caulked together. Um, literally the drive shaft is going through what is like foam, uh, literally just a, a foam hole through it. Obviously there's the rudder sticking out and guys, this is, I mean, I've always heard of these. I've always, you know, known, seen pictures and so forth, but until you see it in person, it just doesn't, it does not, uh, it's just surreal, yeah. Like, can you believe these people went across 90 miles across the ocean in this? And there's a little girl's backpack up front. Um, there's clothes scattered all up and down the entire beach here from, and bottles of water. And uh, just crazy, crazy to think that people are gonna risk their lives and they're that desperate to lift to risk their lives to come in literally a wood and metal boat. This is the exhaust pipe here. Comes down from the bottom of the diesel engine. Yeah, they had they had wood oars with, with metal on them. I mean, gosh, I just can't even imagine how crazy this is. This encounter was a stark slap in the face of just how blessed we really are. How different our lives would look just by the simple and uncontrolled fact of where we were born. Make sure to follow along as this won't be our last encounter with Cuban migrants. We'll see you next week.